Hey, this is Mikey. I just wanted to do a quick uh, video kind of following up on the last couple of videos I've done about path point access. Now, this is one of the new features that's out in After Effects um, today, you know, the October 18th. It came out. Um, but what path point access is, is you, you're you able to get into these, these path points now. And uh, one of the things about the, the mask uh, path in the past that you couldn't do that you can now and I'm going to explain it to you is with the with the mass tracker so for an example I have this uh, tracked out and I use the mask tracker now say I wanted to move that mask well you can't <laughs> um, if I come in here and move the mask well it only moves it for that one keyframe because the mask tracker uses the keyframe it, it creates keyframes for everywhere it goes and so I once I do the track I can't do anything else to it I can't move it um, so this may not be the best situation for this uh, example but I'm sure you'll, you'll get what I'm, I'm trying to do is I've created an expression and this expression is in the uh, description so you can go in and copy it and use it and what it does is it makes it so you can move the position of the mask after you've done the mask track. And so how it works is, well, let's um, let's uh, add it to it. So first you add like a position expression controller. So this is just mask position offset. Uh, have a point. Let's reset that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this expression that I've written up. I'm going to paste it onto this new one. And what it does, I'll just take you through it. In, in the expression when you paste it, there's going to be two variables here at the top. The first one, T path. This is where you, you go in and you pick whip the path the the one that you're on so I would just come here and pick whip mask and then this offset position this is right here this point so if you're using a null object you would select the null object if you're using the expression controller you do that because um, it may not be the same names that's why uh, you just go in there and swap that out and then what it's doing is it's taking all of the tangents and um, points of the the mask and it's adding to it this position and then it's recreating the mask again and then as it does that it keeps the keyframe data so now I can take this offset and I can move that mask and you can see it's now moved and it didn't affect any of the keyframes so that's pretty cool and some things you can do with that is you can move the mask and move the position and be able to get rid of someone using the mask tracker all by itself, which is pretty cool. Now it looks like uh, um, Tony is here on the sand dune playing frisbee by himself, which is a little sad. But anyways, I thought I would share that with you. Again, the, the expression is all down in the description. So what you do is you copy and paste the expression onto the mask path, the mask that you have done the tracker on. And then you need to either create a null um, to get the position, or I like to do uh, an expression controller, just a point controller, and stick it on there as well. And then make sure that the variable T path is connected to your mask path. And then the variable um, offset position or offset POS is connected to either your expression controller or to your null, the position of your null layer. And then everything should just work just fine and you'll able to then offset the position of your mask even after you use the mask tracker. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you next time.